is a very simple program. I'm going to walk you through it and in a few minutes you'll be able to produce your own herd milk prediction. Before you start, you need to work out the predicted calving pattern of cows and heifers in your herd and when the cows you have in a herd last calved. There are two basic options, a manual prediction or a prediction based on calvings. I'll start by explaining how the calving based predictions work. You uh, enter data into yellow boxes and you can start uh, the cell, any cell you want, and uh, use your mouse or move sequentially through the cells using the tab key. I'm entering farm name, postcode, herd name and your herd ID provided by your milk purchaser. It's important you enter this information accurately. Next, enter the date you want the prediction to start, your herd yield and calving interval. Please enter yield as the lactation yield. That's the average amount of milk an animal will give from the day it calves until the day it is dried off. Average calving interval for the herd can be any duration from 365 to 450 days and increasing the calving interval spreads the lactation over a longer period. Typical UK calving interval is around 420 days. Once you've done this, hit the square button with the word set up forecast and this will set up the table in which you'll enter information. Your 305 day yield is calculated and this is broadly equivalent to the annual milk sales of an animal. If you don't know the yield of your cows, this program isn't really going to work. The management system allows you to fine tune the prediction based on how your cows are managed. Low yield reflects herds with a seasonal bias, typically spring calving herds. High yield reflects cows where the lactation is constant, or typically seen in high yielding herds. And the average reflects a typical UK herd. The culling rate works by assuming about half of total culling is of cows in lactation and there are three tiers of culling possibilities as described on the screen. You can make all of these adjustments at any time and you can alter any of the previous parameters such as yield or calving interval. However, just be aware if you reset the date it will reset all parameters to nil. The next thing to do is enter the historic calvings. Add up for each month the total number of cow and heifer calvings. Don't include cows that calved last year that have since been solved, as they won't contribute to the prediction. The total number of historic calvings should be the same as the number of cows and heifers in the herd at the prediction start date. Next, enter the expected calvings over the next 12 months by adding the cows and heifers you expect to calve in each month. You should estimate the amount of milk that will be discarded or used for house and calves. If you don't do this, you'll probably end up overestimating the amount of milk you'll send to your purchaser. The final column allows you to enter the amount of milk you produced last year. This is optional, but it will allow you to sense check the predicted volumes against the farm's production in the last year. When you've finished, check on the yellow square run forecast and it will run the calculation and you'll see the results in the second table if you scroll down. This is the output table. For each month it shows estimated production, the predicted number of cows in milk, estimated litres per cow in milk per day. The sales are the volumes produced less the amount discarded and used on farm. There's a column which shows the cumulative volumes and the final column indicates the percentage variation in predicted volumes compared to the amount produced in the prior year. That's it. If you get this far, you've completed a prediction. Well done. You can try out various options by changing yield, calving interval, system, culling rate and calvings. Just remember when you've done so, click run forecast. And when you're happy that everything is correct, you can click on print. This opens the prediction in a printer friendly for format and you can click on print to, to print this, send this to your printer. You can also cut and paste the data into a spreadsheet if you want to. To go back to the prediction, select the tab in your browser to go back to it. The data you've entered is saved on your computer. So next time you open the program, it will populate the cells with the last date you entered. You can also click on submit if this option is enabled in your version and this will automatically send your prediction to your milk purchaser. 
If you need to submit a prediction, but don't want to use the carving base tool, you can select the manual option and enter the monthly expected volumes in the cells and then submit the production as I've previously described. We hope you find this program easy to use, but feel free to let us have any feedback or ask any questions if you need help with anything. And you can also refer, refer to the printed uh, hard copy help files in the program. Thank you.